our next speaker is Stuart Rhodes, president and founder of the Oath Keeper, and he's here to finish up on how the authorities should honor their oaths. you got in there? Five. Just five? Well, I got mid kit and my radio too. I want to bring up all the guys who served at the Sugar Pine Mine. If you guys served up here, and ladies, come on up. These are the real heroes of the day to show you how it's done. Come on up, guys. And Joseph Rice is the man on the, on the ground there who was overall command. On, and then Brandon, we're standing on the ground, team, because there are more good guys than bad guys. Right. But the bad guys are organized, and they do come in teams, as you know. But the good guys are not. Who's going to win? The bad guys will win with an artificial superiority of force. It was just you and your underwear at 3 o'clock in the morning. Whether it's the cartels or MS-13 or the secret police, it takes a team to fight back. When you stand like this, the bad guys cannot take you down because you will give them a firefight, and they don't want a firefight. This is what you folks need. You need a team. When you go home, you have three important questions to answer for yourself. Number one, who's on your buddy team? You got a buddy that'll back you up? Number two, who's on your fire team? That's two buddy teams together. Last question, who's on your friggin' squad? That's what you need to get squared away. The politics is certainly important, but you've already seen right here, you've got sellout Republicans who sold you down the river just as bad as the Democrats did, didn't you? It goes to show you, what do you get when you vote for lesser two evils? You, you, you get shafted, like you just got. So you've got to set aside your partisan loyalty to party and put your country first. And there's no more better way to do that than to train with guys like this as a team. We don't talk about Republican or Democrat. We talk about being Americans. We talk about being guardians of the republic about being warriors. Right, brothers? That's right. That's right. That's what it's about. Get yourself squared away. The founding fathers knew and understood that the militia of the people, armed and trained and organized, was necessary for the security of a free state. You will not be secure, and you will not be free without it. you got to replace that missing element of you, the people. How many here train with another American in move, shoot, and communicate. Raise your hands. If you train, move, shoot, and communicate. You all need to be doing that. No more important thing to do right now than to come together with your fellow Americans, get to know your neighbors, and form up as teams. These guys, this, this gentleman right here, Mouse, came all the way from South Carolina, drove all the way across the country. He's been here for six weeks. That's what it takes. But you know what? He should not have to drive all the way from friggin' South Carolina to come protect someone in Oregon. All of you should have had that handle. Where were you at? So next time you are needed here, you need to answer the call. Don't rely on someone coming from across the country because there is a storm coming in this country and when it hits, you're not going to be able to go someplace else. Mouse is going to be busy in South Carolina taking the lead in that state to fight tyranny. You are going to have to fight tyranny here on your own. You cannot count on guys being able to project across the country. Bundy Ranch is the same thing. It should not take taken guys all over the country to go and guard one ranching family from being Waco. It should have been handled by the veterans of, of Nevada and the people of Nevada. Where were they at? So we have a lot of work to do to get squared away. You're not the only community that's not there yet. All across the country, people are not where they need to be. You all need to be rowing. No one is passenger on the good ship Liberty. Everyone's crew. Everybody rows. My son is here. Dakota's here. He, he trains with us at our CPT team also, back home in Eureka, Montana. Every one of you needs to be training. So now I want to turn the mic over to Joseph Rice, who is the coordinator for Josephine County, and led that operation there. Where's Joseph at? There you go.
Come here, Joseph. Hello. Hello. I'm Joseph Rice. They know me as Saber. I ran the Sugar Pine Mine security operation. I had operational control. First off and foremost, these men and women that stand up here, I must thank them because they answered the call. They answered the call to protect constitutional rights of those that were in need. And that's what it takes to maintain a free nation and a free country. If we look at our nation today, we're under attack, our freedoms, our liberties. If this had happened the day after 9-11, today, with the erosion of our civil liberties, our rights, and our Constitution, we would all be up in arms. As Stewart said, we would be fighting. This document is the United States Constitution. This document constrains government. It is not to constrain the people. It is our rule book. The lessons learned at the Sugar Pine Mine is how to put government back in its lane of travel. It's how we properly employ the Second Amendment. It's how we kept the government from violating the constitutional rights of those minors, those Fourth and those Fifth Amendment rights. But it takes moral courage, as is demonstrated on my left and on my right by these individuals. They stepped off the curb into harm's way to protect those rights. They came from across the nation. They came from South Carolina, Alabama, New Hampshire, Texas, Missouri, Minnesota, Michigan, Colorado, Massachusetts, all through the Pacific Northwest. Every state was represented there. Where was Oregon? We need to back each other up. We need